So how can you make sure that your conditional formatting in a column is independent from all the other columns you have in your model? My name is Rick and in this video I will show you how you can use a measure to base your conditional formatting on so you can apply it in any way you like independent of other columns. So buckle your seatbelts and let's get to it. So in the model that we're looking at right now, I'm showing a heat map with the amount of appointments we have. In the rows we find the days, and in the columns you can find the months and the year. And as the model shows here, in the months November and December, most of the appointments are made in this model. Now, if you use a heat map, what you'll find is that most of the colors are only shown for November and December. Now, it could very well be that you wanna show those numbers in a different way. And if you show them in a different way, you could, for example, say, we are mostly focused on a month by month basis. So I'm, I'm curious about the distribution of those numbers. And if November and December are highly represented in the data set, I'd rather show those numbers based on each of the months. Now, currently we have a very easy conditional formatting se se setting, which is the following. We simply have a conditional formatting based on the, the measure that's in there with the lowest value being blank and the highest value being green. Now, to make sure we can adjust this, all we'll have to do, and I'll make it very visual, is first of all, create a separate measure. So let's make this one empty and click on new measure. And We'll have to be creative and find a way in which the conditional formatting can add up to, uh, can look on columns specifically. So an idea I have there, measure is called appointments conditional formatting equals, and the first thing I'd like to calculate is a percentage in which, uh, if we, for example, have a number in one of these days, I would like to state that number as a percentage of the total so that it always adds up to 100%, no matter if there is a high number of appointments in that month or a low number. So we can start with a calculate, and we'll be calculating the amount of appointments. And what we'll first do is to get to 100%, we're going to have to divide the amount of appointments of that day by the total of the month. So the total of the month you can reach by writing all, and it says the day number of the month, number of the month, the day number, okay. So if we first start out with this interim calculation, we could put this in the matrix and we'll find that each of the values now shows the total number of this month. So the 373 is the total in the other matrix as well. Now to get to the right calculation to get to 100%, we can add some variables. So variable is month, month total equals this one. And then we're gonna have another variable, uh, which is the result. And to get to the result, we can divide the amount of appointments that we have each month by the month total. And then to get the answer, we can return the result. Now, as I will calculate, I will need to format this as a percentage. And what you can now see is that each of these columns now totals up to 100%. Now, if instead we base our heat map now based on these numbers, you'll find that each of the months will base their colors on only the month numbers here. So what we can do is we can change this measure out for the regular appointments one. And then when we go back to appointments, conditional formatting and background color, one can now select based on a field. This is where you can select a measure that's gonna return a value for your, for your matrix. So as we're basing it on this value here, we could say uh, the lowest value will equal blank and the highest will equal green. Press okay. 
And if you compare these tables now with each other, the one on the left shows a very, very uh, highly represented numbers in November and December, whereas the matrix on the right shows you very equally distributed. So in this way, you yourself can distribute the numbers in any way you like for the colors. And you can be creative as you like. Now, if this was valuable to you, I'll be posting more things on Power Query DAX and Power BI. So subscribe that button and I'll see you next time.